Hi there, I'm doing today's video on how to identify designer scarves. Technically, I'm going to show you some tips on how to completely knock out the fakes. So if you're in the thrift stores or if you're at um, an estate sale or something and there's a pile of scarves there and there are a couple of dollars and you see something that you think might be a designer scarf, I'm going to give you a couple of tips to automatically knock out a fake. Um, and you may have to get home and do a little research on it, especially if it's a scarf like Hermes. Um, people spend a lot of time and money faking scarves like that. So uh, you may not be able to figure out really fast right off the bat if that scarf is uh, real, or, real or not, but you'll be able to tell really fast if it's definitely a fake, if that makes sense. So um, one of my big tips, especially for the French scarves, um, or most of the really high-end designer scarves. So when you look at the scarf, it's gonna look kind of wrong. So this is my scarf. The first tip is that your uh, pattern is completely symmetrical. So you can see here that all my edges are the same distance. Um, my pattern's completely straight. It's not all lopsided. Here's my logo. My logo is nice and straight. Um, with a hand rolled scarf, and that's an, that's one of those things like these hand rolled scarves, they look hand rolled and hand stitched, but that's actually a sign of a good scarf. You don't necessarily want a scarf that has been machine stitched, so perfectly folded over, perfectly straight stitched. That's actually a no no for scarves. So they've actually rolled the scarf in towards the logo, not away like you would assume. It's rolled in and then it's hand stitched from there. So the material actually comes from the back to the front instead of the front to the back and then it's stitched in. That is one of the big signs that you've got a really nice scarf. They've they've hit that detail on it. Um, That's in Yves Saint Laurent. I also have a Christian Dior here. Done exactly the same way. So if you look at my scarf, the pattern's completely symmetrical. There's nothing sort of fading there. And down here at the bottom, you see the logo. Scarf is rolled in towards the logo and then hand stitched. Um, Another tip for a designer scarf is uh, the material. So if you're picking up a high-end designer scarf, chances are the material is going to be silk. Now every once in a while you're going to find one in cotton. Um, I've gotten a couple of the Christian Dior's and some Gucci scarves that are cotton, but they're really nice cotton. The patterns are bright and bold. You can still tell that it's a really, really nice designer scarf. You can generally feel the silk. You're not always going to have a tag left. Lots of people cut their tags off of stuff. So you're not always going to have a tag that tells you whether or not it's silk or not. But you can generally feel silk. Um, now, don't discount the hand, not hand stitched scarves because they're still cute. Um, they can be worth some money depending on the designer. There are plenty of vintage brands that are really popular and sought after. Um, this one's a Pat Patricia of Paris. Uh, it's red, white, and blue. I picked it up for the 4th of July. I thought it would be really cute. This one is um, machined, so the, the material is towards the back, which, you know, again, you would normally assume, right? It's folded nicely, and then it's hand-stitched. And I'm going to pop some pictures of the hand stitched, excuse me, I think I just said it's hand stitched, but it's machine stitched. And I'll pop some pictures of these in here for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, you know, if you're picking them up for 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, something fairly inexpensive, it's totally worth buying all sorts of different types of scarves for resale if that is what you're out there doing. Um, it's not a bad thing to flip something out for a dollar or two for 20 or 30. Um, I hope this helps you. Somewhere here, I'm going to pop a video, another video, so you can check out some of my other stuff. And I'll have a subscribe button for you too, so hit that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, check me out on Etsy at Crego and Alice, and I appreciate your time. Thank you.